Seeksters! Hi YouTube! Hope you guys are having an awesome week. Today's video is going to be a haul and it's going to be a collective haul. I took advantage of all of the free shipping that was available at all of our favorite stores and I bought a little bit, little bit here and there from different stores so I thought I'd put them together in one video. I asked whether to still make this video and you guys told me yes. So this is the third video in a series of hauls. So if you haven't checked those ones out yet, there will be a link down below. Now, if this is the first time seeing my face, hi, I'm Chi Chi, and this is my channel here. Here we do lookbook hauls, share outfit inspo and style tips, as well as the occasional vlog. If this sounds like something you're into, then please consider subscribing down below. And of course, if you're already subscribed, welcome. I'm so glad you came back. Right. It's just that season where you just want to snuggle up with boo. And if you don't have a boo with your body pillow, your heated blanket, okay, you want to just snuggle up. <laughs> I'm messing with y'all. And so the first um, couple of pieces I'm going to show you are, all came from Express. You guys know that I partner with Express during the summertime. And one of the things that I vividly remembered from that haul is how well they do knits. So I picked a, a gray t-shirt and the reason I was specifically looking for gray because um to fill a void in my wardrobe I think I didn't have a gray shirt that I t-shirt that I really liked so I picked up this gray t-shirt it's so soft I mean so 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 can I say so 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 soft is really well good quality i remember the skull t-shirt i picked up from them over the summertime i was like oh it's so soft but it's one of those soft things that once you wash it's gonna fall apart no honey i've washed that shirt and it's still holding up beautifully and i thought it would bleed because it's black and white didn't bleed either sis definitely don't sleep on express on their t-shirts so i got this in an extra large and this is from their 111 line a lot of the pieces in the 111 line are kind of like casual and kind of like loungewear pieces and to match it i picked up these i don't know if these are joggers or leggings um it doesn't say on the tag but i picked up this camo legging so it's really cute i've been really into picking up like sets and just loungewear that looks good um because i like comfortable clothes and that's what i want to wear 99 percent of the time so why not look good in your casual clothes um it also has like this little cuff on the bottom these are leggings just because of the way the top is made it's high-waisted it's nice and camo works really well with this shirt so i'm really happy with this these two purchases and I picked up the bottoms in an extra large as well. You guys know my measurements are down below for your reference if you're interested. Also if you want to know where this shirt is from, it's from my misguided haul which should be up by the time this video is up so I will have it linked down below. Definitely check down there. And then the next item I also picked up from them is this sweater which says femme 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 all over it. Um, This is not quite as soft as the 111 which is why I'm like if you want to pick up lounge or like knits pick it up from the 111 section it's like a different kind of like concession and I feel like the quality of the pieces there are just beautiful I picked this one it says femme 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 all over it I got this in a set size extra large it does fit I wish it fit a little bit like more like looser if that makes any sense it's kind of sh cropped on me and I wish it was a little bit longer I don't know if I, I want it to be looser but I want it to be longer um and it kind of just gave me Balenciaga vibes totally there was this Nike shirt that I was sweatshirt that I was obsessed with but I could not seem to find anywhere um so this kind of like met me halfway with that um and this is something easy that you can pair with jeans you can pair this you can because of how this fits kind of close to my body i can tuck this into skirts and dress it up that way as well so also a really great piece and if it's still available of course everything i mentioned in this video will be linked down below yes. The next place I also picked up items from was from Charlotte Ruse. Now I don't know, 
I, I did this, I placed the Charlotte water really, really late at night and I started, I started to wonder if my thinking, if I was impaired by tiredness when I placed this haul. But this was one of the items that made me actually pull the trigger. It's this jumpsuit, which in theory, I absolutely love. Sadly, in execution, I just feel like they just missed the mark with this one. This is from Charlotte Russe. So the first issue I had with it is this like issue right here, right? Something about my body, I think it's because my my torso is really short, but I always have issues with this like, I don't know, it's an S word. I always have issue with this type of neckline. And then, so what happens is that it's just always too big for me. And I guess that when they make pieces like this, they always like, make them in proportion of you know the upper body to the lower body and because I have a bigger lower body these pieces kind of fit odd on me but yeah so this would have been okay if they made the straps adjustable the straps are not adjustable so I what I did was that I paired it with a mesh shirt just to see like the possibility but then this was still an issue because even though this was huge on me, for whatever reason, the lining on the inside kept on showing. Um, and no matter how I pulled it, it didn't work. I even tried putting a belt around it and it just, it just didn't work. Also, the front was kind of weird. There was like too much fabric here. So I actually bought this in two sizes. That's how much I wanted this. I think I bought this in a 2X and a 3X. 2X was definitely the right size to get. So I would say this is really true to size. If you want it, again, I'm really obsessed with this because it's, it's like, it's not sequined. So it's like a metallic type fabric and it just has all these fun colors. Actually, this has a, this is basically the same material as my turban from my ASOS haul. Same material, different colorway. But I thought this was really fun and a little bit different and I'm kind of gutted that sadly it don't fit right. So the next couple of pieces are from Target. I've got two pairs of shoes and two clothing pieces. Now this, for, this item I'm gonna show you, I'm sure you're gonna be like, huh, wait, what? Because like, of course, it's not summertime, but um, I just couldn't pass this up, and I don't know if it's going to be around during summertime, and I also know that some of you may be going on vacation or may have plans to escape the cold for somewhere warm, so I thought I would share this. This is from the A New Day brand, and it is a slide with these jewels on it. So as you guys can see, the um, this part is clear, so when you put it on, you're basically seeing your foot, like you're basically seeing what looks like your skin with these jewels all over it. And I thought that was super cute. Um, and it has like um, elastic on the side as well to make it comfortable and fit your feet. I got in a size 12 and although it's a little bit big, I feel like if I gotten it in a size 11 because my feet are wide, this might have been uncomfortable. So I think 12 was the right size for me and I'd always rather have a shoe being looking bigger on my foot than smaller on my foot. That's just a personal pre preference as someone who has huge size 11 feet. Them. For reference, they are $24.99. I'm sorry if I have not been saying prices, but a lot of the time, you know these online orders, they don't have, they usually don't include prices. Now the next item is also from ev an Everyday, and this might not be everybody's cup of tea, and I'm okay with that, but I picked up a pair of white pointy toe mules. I have just, I'm just obsessed with shoes that do not require me to buckle that are not requiring me to pull or tug on anything. Shoes that I can just put in my foot, put on, side my foot in and go. Okay, it is, it's, it's hard out here for a pimp, especially if you have a stomach, honey. Um, but yeah, so I picked these up. I think these are super cute to pair with like light skin, um, not light skinned, with like like light-ish mid-wash jeans, like mom jeans that are like somewhat cropped. A chunky sweater and these or you could do like a really nice top like I had this mustard colored off the shoulder ruffled top with some high waist jeans and these that that would be super cute so I really really liked this 
Um, and like I said, I know it's not everybody's cup of tea. It's not for everybody, but it is for me. You know what? I'm not even going to include this item. I was going to show you this item, but it's basically the... It's basically the other version of the polka dot dress from my Target haul. So if you haven't checked that out, again, a link to my haul, my haul playlist will be down below for you to check out. So let's keep this video short, honey. The next item is, is going to be the exact thing I have on, only this time it's a mesh and it's a mock neck. Here we go. It's the same exact thing. I didn't realize until I got them both and I was like, hmm, do you know that you bought the same thing twice? But it is this mesh mock neck from Target and it's from the um, Wild Fable line. Am I the only one who notices that the Wild Fable line tends to be a little bit more expensive on the plus side than the the non-plus size, I, this was like $8, so it was really affordable. It might even be less now. Um, and it is kind of cropped, that's the only downfall to this. But it, I think this would be great, you wear a black bra with this, it's kind of sexy. Pair this with something that's high-waisted, like a high-waisted leather skirt, or some high-waisted jeans. Um, and you have an outfit that's very much on trend because animal print, Specifically, animal print is definitely having a moment. And I think if you're tired of, of, of leopard, snake is a, it's a, it's a natural progression, okay? Now, I bought a whole rack of beanies in a very short period of time. I don't know. I've been really into my hats lately. I've been really, really into my hats. Um, and so I picked up two beanies, both from Target. This one I love because it's black and it has two pom-poms up here. And the reason why I picked this up is because I thought I lost my plain black beanie. And I'm so happy that I got this. Now I feel like this is really, really, like this kind of like tones down a look. So this is something I would probably wear with more like casual looks. Um, versus if it was, if it didn't have the pom-poms, I'd probably be able to wear it, like, with other looks. And then I also picked up this one as well, which, um, is mustard, because, you know, mustard is the color for melanin. Okay? Um, and I actually only, I bought two of the same item, but I only have one here to show you, and it is this white turtleneck again you guys already know how much i preach about basics on this channel and why they're just important when it comes to getting dressed so i picked out um this cream crew neck because i do have a amazon shop where you can actually check out all of my curated pieces a lot of these pieces i actually own i've partnered with amazon and it's not just like fashion it's also home and just anything really that i'm purchasing from amazon that i got and i think is really great i tend to put in the shop anyways one of the brands that i found on amazon while working with them is this daily ritual brand which to me makes the butteriest basics kind of like in line with the basics from express um and they they're an they're an inclusive brand so i believe they go up to a 4x um so one of the items i picked up from them is this white or cream colored turtleneck um it has like a a decent neck and i like the way this is made because it's like it's not super chunky it's very thin i got this in a size 1x and honestly i think i probably should have gotten this in an extra large because it is a teensy bit big for me or it could have been a little bit or it could be closer to the body because i really love um that whole like tissue thin turtleneck is really great for layering it's also something very high end about it um and th that's the vibes that this gives me it has like slight ribbing in it it's super super soft very well made you can tell as soon as you get it um and that's what i love about that whole daily ritual brand because all of the basics they make are very very they're kind of elevated a little bit luxe but still affordable that up in white and navy um and it comes with a bunch of other colors as well i think it definitely comes with gray it may come in tan i'm trying to remember um definitely comes in black um and those people people who know about this brand know it's like a favorite um 
I also picked up um, this really affordable, I, I think this was like $15 or something, two-piece set from Amazon as well. I really just wanted the skirt. I was looking for a black bodycon skirt. The ones, like I've been trying to get a body, a black bodycon skirt that's like not thin, you know, that has like a little bit, almost like bandage material is what I would want. Um, and this kind of, kind of hits kind of it's almost there like it's really good like it is it's like it's like a jersey fabric but it's not the soft jersey it has a little bit of thickness to it almost similar to like spanky type fabric and it also comes with a little bralette which probably I didn't even try to put it over my tatas. I don't even know if it would fit, but I got it basically for the skirt. As I said, if you love hauls, make sure to check out the playlists that are either either popping up above my head or down in the description bar below. If you like this video, make sure to share it with a friend. Also let us know in the comments below which piece out of this entire haul was your favorite. Let's continue our conversation down there don't forget to rate comment subscribe and share and until next time stay blessed but wait girl i'm not going anywhere okay there's tons and tons of content